Let's start first with the impending race to be the next governor of North Carolina. We have a Republican who says he's in. That's right. Uh, Dan Forrest, the lieutenant governor, who's uh, fit, will be completing his second term and term limited as lieutenant governor, has formed an exploratory committee, which means that he can raise money, and it's pretty much the signal that he's going to run. Uh, and he's put out an introductory video and the like, and uh, he's going to challenge uh, the Democratic incumbent, Roy Cooper, almost certainly, and Cooper probably is not going to face any primary opposition. But the question is, will uh, Dan Forrest face uh, serious primary opposition? He probably will have some, but how will it be more than token opposition? Or is it a chance that uh, former Governor Pat McCrory will jump in again? Yeah, that's one of the big questions on the Republican side. I know, at least in the past, there's been some polling that would show that uh, it would be quite a race in a primary between Pat McCrory and Dan Forrest. That's right, yes. And and the, the issue is that, uh, there was a, a fairly recent poll by the Democratic group Public Policy polling which still shows that uh, Dan Forrest doesn't really have a lot of name recognition, that about uh, close to two-thirds of North Carolinians have no, no opinion about him whatsoever. His plus minus is about even. I mean, as far as favorable, unfavorable, it's about even, but very low numbers. Uh, Pat McCrory has slightly, I believe, slightly positive favorable versus unfavorable, but there's still about a quarter of the voters that don't have an opinion about him either. So it's it, it'll be interesting to see uh, – Dan Forrest has been an effective campaigner. I mean, the question here is going to be who is going to get money behind them? Uh, both have been very effective fundraisers. And so if the big Republican donors choose to pick one or the other, then that person certainly would be favored to win.